Hey guys, and welcome to another showcase of Skyrim Mods. In today's video, I'll be featuring some amazing mods that you guys might like. Mods that make Skyrim much more enjoyable. So without any delay, let's get right into the video. First up, we have skill-based dynamic animations. This mod allows you to have animations that change based on your skill level. For instance, if you have a sneak level between 1 to 25, you will see a default snake animation. However, as you progress and your skill level increases to 50 and even 75, the animations will change, making you feel more skilled and experienced in your craft. Another example is your archery skill level. Having a lower archery skill level makes your character draw a bow with rough animation, while having a higher archery skill level makes you draw and hold the bow more confidently. I personally think this mod is an absolute must-have, especially if you're looking for a more immersive gameplay experience that also emphasizes the importance of honing your skills over time. If you're enjoying the video so far, please consider hitting the like and subscribe to my channel for more. Anyways, let's get right back into the video. Next up, we have Gilded Green is really thick. This mod replaces one of Skyrim's most iconic and revered landmarks, the Gildegreen tree in Whiterun. The mod replaces the tree with a new high-poly photorealistic model that truly lives up to its name. According to the lore of Elder Scrolls, the Gildegreen tree holds immense significance in Whiterun as a symbol of Kynarit's divine presence and a focal point of worship. However, in its vanilla form, it may have appeared somewhat like luster. But with this mod installed, my opinion has completely changed. Plus, it's compatible with popular Gildegreen mods like Gildegreen Regrown and Fallen Gildegreen Petals, which only adds to its charm. Next up, we have an amazing armor mod called the Hinterland Ranger. This mod adds a lightweight unisex leather and cloth armor to the game. And what I love about this mod is that it comes with four different armors, each with its own unique design. There's the Hinterland Leather, which is basically a rugged and versatile armor, which is ideal for those who prefer a blend of wilderness. Next one is Shadow Ranger Armor. Those who prefer to operate in the shadows will definitely like this. Azure Hinterland Robes These robes are combined with Mystic of Magic with well-crafted armor, making them a favorite amongst spellcasters. And lastly, Radiant Hinterland Robes Their intricate design and radiant accents make them a symbol of purity and power, ideal for those who walk the path of righteousness. And one of the standout features of this mod is its support for HTT SMP physics. Thanks to this support, the armor comes to life with dynamic movement, enhancing the immersion experience. You'll notice the armor responding realistically to your character's actions, whether you're swaying gently as you walk or during combat. Next up, we have Leviathan Animations 2 Great Sword Sneak locomotion and attacks. This amazing mod replaces the locomotion and attack animations while holding a greatsword. The main features of this mod are that it adds new half-sword based sneak animations to replace the idle, walk, run, turn, equip, unequip, normal attack, Power attack and forward power attack. These new animations are incredibly fluid, and what's more, they function perfectly with just OAR, eliminating the need for Nemesis. I personally think you guys should give this a try, as the animations are made really well, which deserves more attention. Last on the list is Thuldor's Iverstead. 
this mod is a complete overhaul mod of Iverstead, inspired by a mod called Cities of the North. In the main quest of Skyrim, coming across Iverstead becomes one of the core memories of the Dragonborn as you are about to climb the steps of High Hrothgarth. With the mod installed, it makes the location much more meaningful by replacing the architectural style of Iverstead and adding new buildings like a town square, chapel, cemetery, and even a guard tower. What's even more impressive about this mod is that it includes many new fully voiced NPCs. A merchant, baker, blacksmith, a priest, and a grave digger. These are among the new additions, each possessing their own unique routine. If you're worried about the compatibility with other mods, you don't really have to worry about that, as the mod already have available patches for many other popular mods. Well, that's all for today's video. Anyways, please take a moment to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to endorse all mod authors and always stay safe. Most importantly, have fun in your Skyrim adventures. Happy modding everyone!